we feel that it's a vehicle for our style and for us as Kumu to use it as a vehicle to teach our students and for us to learn and expand our knowledge, for our students to learn something. For instance, they learned how to weave lauhala, to make a lehulu, to make an uli uli. We don't focus so much on the performance, but really the journey in bringing our students to a point where they can be their very best in those seven minutes on that stage. That's just a really small portion of why we do it. It's not that it's gonna be on the stage for millions of people to see. It's not that we'll be on TV. It's really that, it's, it's that knowledge and, and diving into and expanding what we can learn and then what we can share from what we have learned. Some of our mele, for our gentlemen especially, have come out of Bishop Museum and for that, the knowledge that is in the Bishop Museum that is not tapped into, it's our opportunity to bring those mele alive. Whether it's in the Bishop Museum or something that was given to us as a gift from a family or something we wrote or something that's standard, that it gives us the opportunity to bring those memories alive, bring that storytelling alive for the world to see. And really that's why we go. It's, not, it's definitely not about winning, it's not about placing, it's really about learning and sharing what we have. I know people say that, but if you focus on the prize and wanting to, we gotta do this so we can win first place or we can, so that we can place, we've lost the essence of what hula is about. We've lost the essence of why hula is alive. It's not alive for us to compete, it's alive for us to share and to learn and to keep the culture alive.